Hello guys, uh, today we are in uh, Victoria Falls, the Victoria Falls National Park, Masiwa Tunya with Yay! the African Tigers. The one and only. Yes. Yebo, yebo, yebo. And Root Soccer. And Root Soccer Tours. <laughs> Root Soccer. That's, That's Root Soccer Tours, guys. Check him out on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description box. And uh, yeah, you can book you some nice package tours. But for now, enjoy the video of uh, Masiwa Tunya. We're going to tour the falls. Cheers, guys. And that is Zambia. This is the Zambia Bridge, so that is Zambia. So at least I can say I have seen Zambia and I'm in Zimbabwe. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Enjoy. And subscribe. Hi guys, uh, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're inside the Victoria Falls uh, rainforest whereby we will be viewing the falls and uh, it is the best place to view the falls. The falls can also be viewed from the Zambian side as uh, they are uh, between uh, two borders. The falls are shared between uh, two borders in uh, between the countries of Zambia and uh, Zimbabwe. On the Zimbabwe side, uh, the Victoria Falls is inside uh, Matipaliland North in the town of Victoria Falls. Uh, Victoria Falls is a tourist town and uh, recently became a city in December 2020. The Victoria Falls is not the widest nor is it the highest waterfall, but it is uh, the widest sheet of water in the world and so that's... Uh, what makes it special and uh, it is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The falls is located 915 meters above sea level and uh, it spans uh, 1708 meters and it has an average depth of 100 meters. Uh, the falls is 108 meters deep at its uh, deepest point. The first European to see the waterfall uh, is an explorer known as uh, David Livingston and uh, he arrived at the falls in uh, November 1855 and uh, he named the falls after the Queen of England, Queen Victoria and uh, he went on to name uh, another settlement in Zambia uh, which used to be I think the capital city of Zambia known as Livingston after himself and so the falls were named after, after the Queen as well as the town on the Zimbabwean side was named and is still named Victoria Falls and uh, Livingstone is still named the same up to this day. Uh, as to why these cities never changed names like other cities uh, post-independence of both countries, I don't know. Uh, if you do know, please do share that history in the comment section. I would love to know. Because as you know, uh, African countries uh, upon getting independence would rename uh, their cities sometimes and in, in most cases to African names. And so these two towns have maintained uh, their colonial names um yeah guys if you, anyone has a background uh, do share don't hesitate to share uh the victoria falls is also known as shungumutitima in the tonga language shungumutitima which means uh boiling water and uh, i learned this today i was not aware of it 
I just knew the Mosua Tunya. Uh, if there are any other names that the Falls is known by, please don't hesitate to share in the comment section. Uh, I would like to know the name in the various uh, languages. Uh, these are the two languages I could find, Shungum Titima and uh, Mosua Tunya. And so uh, this is um, quite interesting. And apparently uh, the locals preferred to stay away from the falls because it was too dangerous. Uh, whereas the explorers uh, were more interested in staying as close as possible to the falls. But I have to say guys, the view at the falls is quite intriguing. It never gets old uh, regardless of how many times you've been to the falls. Apparently the mist from the falls can be seen from 50 kilometers away. Uh, if you have seen the falls from such a distance, please let us know in the comment section. And I would assume that this happens at the peak of the water flow when the smoke is at its highest and uh, there are rainbows and uh, there's a mist over the waterfall. But yeah guys, uh, it was a great sight. Uh, the season I went to the falls is a uh, low season. Uh, apparently, uh, not apparently, but rather the falls is too rainy when you go there during peak season. Of course, uh, the sight is more impressive because there's more water, but uh, you have to wear a raincoat or go, in, go there with an umbrella. Uh, the what? Waterfall falls uh, between uh, two national parks, the Mosua Tunya National Park on the Zambian side as well spot, huh? as the Zambezi National Park on the Zimbabwean side. But guys, uh, I want you to enjoy this tour of the falls and uh, let me know what you think of the area in the comment section. And if you're new here, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button. And guys, remember to like and share the video. But cheers guys, enjoy the video. Victoria Falls, man, Victoria Falls. So it's low season, so there's no need for umbrellas. If you come in high season, uh, 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 uh,